How's it going, everyone? My name is Lion, and welcome to Elias' Ordinary Night. This is a game about Elias. Well, well, you are here with Elias, and it's just a handsome young lad who will never hurt you. Anyway, let's get right into it, shall we? Goodness me, I stayed out much longer than I expected. I did not think that a simple stroll would become quite so exhilarating. I'm surprised there were so many people out and about. Actually, given the lateness of the hour, I had assumed that most sensible people would be indoors this close to midnight, but apparently not. I met a rather interesting fellow, as a matter of fact. Ah, where are my manners? I fear if you, I've kept you waiting long enough, and all on your own too. How inconsiderate of me. You must have been so lonely. It's very good to see you again, my dear. I might have been gone for over an hour, but I assure you, I was thinking about you during my absence. Now, I wonder, does that hold true for you too? Were you also thinking of me? I very much hope that you were. You are very dear to me, you know. It would break my heart if you did not miss me at least a little bit. So, it would seem that you have been rather busy in my absence. Hey, yo! Why did I trash the house? Goodness me. My poor apartment is in a terrible state. Did I not tell you to behave yourself the last time you did this, dear one? I believe I was quite firm when I said I did appreciate your silliness. I had hoped this talk would be able to correct your unseemly behavior, but apparently not. It seems further instruction shall be in order. You shouldn't be making such of a mess of my, sorry, our home. You will be living here now, too, whether you want to or not. I know that you are still adjusting, but I am not prepared to budge on this matter. There is little point in you turning my apartment upside down. I keep the door locked whenever I go out, so there's no hope of you escaping. You will never be able to leave me of your own volition. And even if you were to flee, there would be nowhere for you to flee to. There is nobody, to my knowledge, who would take you in. Didn't your family abandon you? It is quite a sorry state of affairs, really. I struggle to imagine how anybody could cast you aside when you were just so lovely. Ah, never mind. Your family might not want you, but I do. I will be a family now. I will be your friend. I will provide for you and lavish attention upon you. So you need friends. Do not shrink away from me now. That hurts, you know. I could not bear it if you were to fear me after all I have done for you. If I truly wish to teach you a lesson, I could always lock you up in the dark. You would be truly at my mercy then. If being kind does not work, Scaring you into obedience is certainly an option. But I am not that cruel. Certainly I would never wish to cause you any harm. You are so weak and so feeble. Bending you to my will would not be so much fun. I would much rather prefer it if you could come to love me of your own volition. Just as I love you. Am I a cat? <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but like, the way he's talking about this, yeah, it sounds like he's talking to a person, but at the same time, this could also apply to an animal. I could be a dog. I have no idea. Yes, indeed. I know it might sound surprising, coming from a man such as myself, but I really do love you. It was love at first sight, in fact. Can you really blame me? Your eyes are so bright, just like jewels and the sounds that you make. They are exquisite. It is nice to have somebody about the house to return home to after my nightly walks. So I could do without all the mess. It will take me quite some time to put my apartment in order. But first, I think I ought to give you a bath. You are looking rather disheveled, dear one. I know you dislike it when I bathe you, but I have no choice. I cannot have you wandering around like that. I only want what's best for you. So come here, dear one. Let me get you nice and clean. I will wipe all of the dirt off of you until you look 
impeccable. Then I shall let you sleep with me in my bed. I think I'm a cat. Do you like the sound of that? No. <laughs> How very hard to please you are. You truly are independent. Not that your independence will do you much good now. You will sleep with me tonight, and that is that. It has been such a long time since I could enjoy the warmth of another. I think that you will do just finely. I hope you are ready to be showered with affection. I am sure if we continue living together, you will come to crave my touch even more than I do yours. I am most looking forward to it. Until that day comes, however, I suppose I will have to keep forcing my kindness upon you. You silly thing. Now forgive me. I cannot help myself. I simply must embrace you. You are far too lovely to resist. So soft. The boy I met early tonight was charming, but you, you are in a league of your own. You are a sweet, precious thing. And now that I have found you, I am afraid I have no desire to let you go. Will you not let me stroke you for just a little while? <laughs> just like that. It seems you can behave after all. Good kitty. I think you and I are going to get along just splendidly. Don't you? <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry. I just did not expect that I will be playing a Yonder visual novel from the perspective of a cat. <laughs> Oh god, that was great. That was so good. Oh, I need more games like this. <laughs> Holy frick. But anyway, that was Elias's Ordinary Night. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. Oh my god, please, my love of god, I need more games like these. Okay, this was actually released for this year's Vlox Fabula. And uh, once again, like, it is a virtual novel jam where you're supposed to come up with games that kind of twist the narrative. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna be checking out some of the other games for this jam. So, hey, stay tuned. In fact, if you haven't subscribed to your channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.